Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am Farley Solomons and today's look is this fresh look, the first look of the year, the first tutorial of the year. So let's begin. Today's palette is Too Faced Natural Lust and the next palette is Zoeva Love is a Story. First shade from the palette is Take the Cake and this goes over the entire eyelid covering the crease line. I have used a small blending brush as you can see I'm just going to blend the shade onto the crease line and also over the eyelid. The next shade is Call Me Back from the same palette uh, and this goes over the crease line and I have used a blending brush always blend the shade as well as you can the next shade goes from the zoeva palette love is a story and this is called past romance i love this shade and this goes on the entire eyelid i simply love love this shade it's such a gorgeous shade and as you can see i have just used a a flat brush for this and uh, starting from the inner corner going almost to the outer corner covering the entire eyelid and then using a blending brush I'm just going to blend all the shades on the crease line just like that and then using flirty pop on the inner corner just to give that pop <laughs> on the inner corner of the eyes and just to make the eyes look more glamorous and this goes also on the brow bone it's a beautiful shade and um, I kind of like shades like this super gorgeous a little bit more and then I have used K Tokyo uh, eyeliner pen and basically I'm just going to wing a little bit just a small wing and a small decent wing um, it's a fresh look more like a romantic look it's just a small wing and um, very close to the lash line as you can see and that's how it is it's a very good uh, pen um, and it's quite black I love Kate Tokyo. I mean, I love their products. I mean, it's really quite good. And this is how it is. For the lashes, I have used Farley Solomon's lashes. That is my own. And it's in the style slay. I love these lashes. They are super light and they are quite natural, I would say. And um, it's gorgeous. I love them. It's it's simply light, and I think I could. I, I, I mean, I could carry these kind of lashes pretty well throughout the day. Um, the main reason I would say is because they aren't heavy and uh, they are pretty light. Um, and it just fits well this is how it looks like for the mascara I have used NARS Climax on the top lashes the next shade on the lower lash line from the Too Faced palette Natural Lust the Peep Show and this is a very gorgeous shade too and this goes simply on under the lower lash line just like that as you can see I have just used a flat brush um, and it just goes on the entire lower lash line a little bit more and then I'm just going to blend it off with another flat brush For the concealer, I have used YSL and I think I have used this concealer a lot in my videos. I love this concealer, especially if I don't want heavy, heavy concealer under my eyes. 
I simply opt for this. That's it. And then using a beauty blender, I'm just going to blend the concealer well into the skin. And then using a brush, what I'm doing right now is just spreading the concealer and diffusing the edges where the beauty blender cannot reach. Going back with the beauty blender, I'm going to diffuse it more and brighten the area under the eyes. For the lower lashes, I have used YSL mascara. And the reason I have used this mascara under the la un um, on my lower lash line is because of the brush. It simply fits my lower lashes and, and it's black. I love it. Don't forget to pat some loose powder over the concealer. For the face, the bronzer that I have used today is my favorite Too Faced um, Natural Face Palette. And the shade is called Sunny Honey from this palette. I love the shade. What I'm doing is I'm simply warming my face a little bit and sculpting it, uh, kind of giving it a shape. Um, because as you apply the foundation on the face, the face just becomes flat. So you need to give it some kind of a dimension. And um, then comes the contouring creams and the contouring powder powders or or a bronzer. I, I prefer go. I, I prefer a, 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 a having a bronzer on my face than a contouring powder. I don't know why, but because I just love the shimmeriness of a bronzer. Uh, maybe that's why. That's the reason I love bronzers. So yep, Sunny Honey from this palette, always my favorite. And this goes on the forehead. This goes uh, on the hollows of my cheeks and my nose and the jawline and what I'm doing right now is just blending it really well just running the brush all over my face really really well blending it super well and not forgetting my nose, I love to contour my nose, I mean, give it some shape. So I'm using the same bronzer on my nose and then blending it really well. For the blush, I have used Pink Wink from the same palette and this goes on the apples of my cheeks. Just like that I love using blush I mean uh, sometimes it's just like I I think I overdo but I, I I think it just looks so beautiful on a person's cheeks it really looks good on a person I, I, I mean to say that and then for the lips I have used Maybelline living the dream and the shade is 10 and it's actually called um, uh, let me talk about the shade uh, it's called 10 it's in the number 10 and it's also called dreamer just like me and uh, I love the shade and it's 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 actually um, it's actually super stay matte ink um, and it's called just living the dream I love this shade it, it looks really really gorgeous um, it's a beautiful shade and that's all about this look. I hope you guys liked this look as much as I loved creating this look for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Take care. Bye-bye.